you will learn how you can run LLM models using Olama in Docker containers, which makes it easy to deploy into container as a service platforms like AKS Azure Kubernetes Service or Azure Container Apps. People who are using ChatGPT figured out that ChatGPT is available as an online version only. However, some enterprises and companies wanted to have more control over the data that will be sent to the LLM model. For that, they wanted to have the model package available on their own infrastructure and on their own network. However, the models running ChatGPT are not available as a downloadable package. But now, lots of other LLM models are available for deployment anywhere. So this means you can just choose one of these LLM models and then you go to deploy it where you want to. And to deploy it, you will need a platform. And there are plenty numbers of these platforms like Hugging Face, Olama, LM Studio, Onyx Runtime, Nvidia Neem, Jan Open LLM, GPT for All and many, many, many more. Today we'll explore the Olama platform which is available as an open source project in GitHub. This one could run on Linux, Windows, Mac OS, and also Docker containers. It can run on CPU only for machines that does not have a GPU or an MPU, but it also support those GPU and NPU for better performance. So on Llama, it will enable you to run LLM models. It supports hundreds and thousands of different LLM models and versions coming from different providers like Microsoft Fi, Mistral, Llama, and many more. You can check those available models on onlama.com slash library. So how to get started using Olama? After installing it into your machine, you will be using the command line Olama. So if you want to run a model, you just run Olama run and then the name of the model. In this case, it's Fi 3.5. After that, you get a prompt within the command line itself, within the terminal, where there you can interact with the model. So here I'm asking, for example, who are you? And then here I get the response from the model. So using the terminal in order to chat with the model is very simple and pretty straightforward. But most companies and most users want to use a client and chat application that can run on a desktop, mobile, or web applications in order to interact with the LLM model. So it's possible to build a client application that interacts with Olama and with the LLM model. That's because Olama exposes the LLM models through a REST API that is available on slash chat, slash API slash chat. And in this example, we are sending a curl request to that endpoint and then we are specifying the name of the model in this case that's 53.5 and then within the message we are s asking the model a question like why is the sky blue for example and here we get the response from the model so once we have that rest api this means that we can build client applications that will consume that uh, rest api so you can either build your own client and chat application that will interact with that model or you can also use some of the existing mature web applications that are available as open source projects in order to achieve that. Following this link you will find lots of uh, chat applications that supports multiple LLM models and one of them that we'll focus with today is the Open Web UI. Open Web UI is an open source project available on GitHub that allow you to consume multiple types of LLM models. So you can run it as a standalone application within your machine or your server, and you can also run it as a Docker container. Now let's move to the demonstration where we'll go to run Olama on the local machine and then we'll run it inside a docker container and then we'll deploy it into an AKS cluster. And for all of these cases, we'll go to consume the model using Open Web API. So because at the end, Olama and Open Web API are available as docker containers, this means that you can deploy it into an AKS cluster, but you can also deploy it into any other containerized platform like Azure Container Apps or even Azure App Service. So let's see a demonstration on this.
In this first demonstration, we'll go to run Olama and to our local machine, and then we'll run the Phi 3 model. The step to achieve that is that to go to the Olama website or the GitHub project. And then here you will find the instructions on how you can install it into your machine, whether that is macOS, Windows, Linux, or inside a Docker container. We'll go actually to the Docker container later, but for now let's just install it as a program or as a package into our machine. I'm working on Windows here, so I have downloaded the project and I have installed it. After the install, I'll be able to use the Olama command line. So from here I can see the different commands. And here I start with the first main command, which is Olama then run and then the name of the model here I'll choose the model 3.5 for example and by the way you can find those models within the same github uh, project right here you find the name of the most known uh, models or you can also view the list of all the models available within Olama if you go to the olama.com slash library website and from here you will find hundreds of uh, models with different versions I want to deploy Phi 3.5, which is the SLM created by Microsoft. So if I hit run right here, then Olama will detect that model is not present in my machine. So it will go to pull or download that model into my machine. This model is 2.2 gigabytes of uh, uh, disk size. It will take a few seconds to install. And once it's installed here, I will get a prompt into the terminal in order to interact and chat with the LLM models. So here I can send a message. Let's try, for example, who are you asking the model? So here I get an answer. I am Phi, an artificial intelligence designer to engage conversations and so on. Great. Now for end users, they want to interact with the model using a chat application or a client application. For that, Olama actually exposes the models through a REST API that we can invoke. So from here, if I go to run this uh, curl request that will go to invoke a REST API to this endpoint, which is slash API slash chat. And then into the request, we put here the name of the model. In this case, that's phi 3.5. And then within the messages, we put the user uh, message or the user uh, input, which is in this case, who are you? And then if I run this, then this will run against my Olama deployment for a phi 3. And here I get the response. So it's telling me here I am Phi an AI language model created by Microsoft and so on. So that was how to deploy Olama LLM model and how to consume it from the REST endpoint. Follow me in the next video where we'll go to use Docker containers in order to deploy Olama and also deploy a client application. In this demonstration will run Olama and the Open Web API chat client application using Docker containers. To do that, make sure that you have Docker already installed into your machine and will be relying on this Docker container that is deployed or that is hosted on Docker Hub, where we will find the Olama uh, container. Here we have the command in order to run that uh, Olama container into your local machine. So you can just copy and paste it into your terminal and run it. In today's demonstration, we'll run the CPU only version, but note that you can run that uh, container in order to have better performance. You can run it on NVIDIA GPU or other kinds of uh, uh, GPU from AMD and so on. And I've created a workshop in this Docker and this uh, GitHub repository, the folder number 510, where here you will find the uh, instructions and also the details of the commands that we'll go through today. And the first command that we'll go through is the Docker run for the Olama. So within my terminal, I'll go to run that Docker uh, command. If I run that one, then here I'll get this long ID. This will tell me that this Docker image is running well. So if I try here Docker PS, then I find that image running and it's running on port 11434, the port number that I've specified right here. Note that here we are also binding a volume that will be used by Olama in order to save its data files. So after deploying Olama, there is no model available there. If I go to run here docker exec into the model, and then instead of running the model first, if I try doc, uh, Olama PS in order to check if there is any running model, then here I find there is no model running for now. So I'll go just to run one of the LLM models. Let's choose here Phi 3.5, for example. And here it will present me this uh, um, interactive window because I have already deployed that model before starting the demonstration. But if you don't have that model available, then you will see a progress window that will go 
through pulling or downloading the model into the container. So here the model is running. I can verify that if I ask it, who are you, for example? Yes, here I get the response from the model. Right. Now that the model is running, we, let's go to deploy the chat application. For that, we'll use another Docker container that will use the chat application from, from OpenWeb UI, which is an open source project available on GitHub. And this one can run on Docker uh, containers. So let's do that. So I'll switch to the command line, control D in order to exit the interactive window. And then from here, I'll paste the command that will go to run the open web UI uh, chat application. And note that here it will be exposed on port number 3000. It will use the same network as uh, Docker and it will bind a volume in order to save its required data. And here we are using some environment variables to say, hey, I want to disable authentication to make it easier to access the model. So let's run this command. And here now I should get the two containers running together, the one for Olama and the one for the open web UI. Great. Now to access the user interface from open web UI, I just use the port number right here and note here it's using the local host. This means that if I switch to local host and to my browser and then go to the port number 3000, here I get logged, I get access to the user interface that will allow me to interact with the model. So to interact with the model, first we need to specify the name of the model. In my case here, that's 53.5. And from here I can send a message. Let's try again, who are you, for example. And here we get the response from the model. Note that here you can also add another model and then you can specify that model and interact with it specifically. Follow me next when we will go to deploy those Docker containers into an AKS cluster. And this demonstration will go to run Olama and OpenWeb UI inside Docker containers and then deploy it into an AKS Azure Kubernetes service cluster. So that at the end, we'll get a user interface that will allow us to interact with the model. To deploy Olama into a Kubernetes cluster, we'll go to use the Olama official Docker container that is available on Docker Hub, where here we can find the command in order to uh, deploy it on Docker. But here we'll go to deploy it into a Kubernetes cluster. For that, we need some YAML files to deploy it into the cluster. I have those files into the AKS course GitHub project, the folder number 510. And then here you would have in the readme files all the scripts required in order to prepare your AKS cluster. And that's what I have done here. I've created that uh, AKS a cluster using the command lines here. So I'm specifying a resource group name and an AKS name. I've created the resource group and then I've created my uh, AKS uh, cluster and then I log it into my cluster. So that inside the Azure portal, I can see my created AKS cluster. And now I can make sure that I'm connected to my AKS cluster. If I do kube control get uh, nodes, then I should be able to view my three nodes of that cluster. So in this demonstration, we'll go to deploy Olama and Web UI. For that, I'll be using some YAML files in order to deploy it into the AKS cluster. And I'll deploy all of the resources into one single namespace that I will call it Olama. And then I'll create a stateful set that will run the Olama pod that will be running only one single replica. That Olama pod will run the latest version of the Docker container and it will be serving on port number 11434. And then here we specify some uh, requests and limits in terms of CPU and memory. For the GPU, I've created the AKS cluster without using a GPU. So for that, I put the value zero for the GPU. But if you have a cluster with GPU, you can put value one. For Olama will need a disk in order to save some of its data files. For that, I've created here the volume claim templates. So this will create an Azure disk with a capacity 90 gigabytes. After that, I go to expose that service through or that uh, deployment through a Kubernetes uh, service that will expose the service on the same uh, target port or on the same port number as Olama. So this service will be consumed by the open web UI for that I've created open web UI deployment object. This one here is of kind Kubernetes uh, deployment. It will use the open web UI image available on GitHub container registry will specify some requests and limits and then we will specify some environment variables and important one here is the service name that will be consumed and this is the olama service dot olama namespace on the port number that is specified by olama 
Note here we have also another environment variables for web UI authentication if you want to enable or disable authentication. Open web UI also needs an Azure disk in order to save some of its data files. For that we are creating here persistent volume claim object that is this uh, YAML file right here that will need uh, two gigabytes of uh, storage. And then in order to access that open web UI user interface, we'll go to create here a Kubernetes service that will use a an Azure public load balancer. This means that we'll be able to access through a public IP address that will be exposed on port number uh, 80. And optionally, I didn't enable that here, but optionally you can also add an ingress if you have an ingress controller inside your uh, Kubernetes cluster. And from here, there you can uh, secure access through HTTPS. Great, let's go to deploy those YAML files into the AKS cluster. For that, I run kube control apply dash f and then dot to specify all the yaml files available there once all the files are deployed then i can go to check the status of the deployment by running get all and then i specify also pv pvc from the olama namespace and here we can see some of the containers are started creating and the azure disks also started uh, creating let's give it a few seconds to complete its creation let's check again so now you can see the two pods already in running state and you can see also the public IP address for the open web UI chat application. Great, but we still have one step to go. So the Olama Docker container that, that was deployed does not contain actually an LLM model. So here if I try kube control exec into that uh, uh, pod, that is the Olama pod right here. And then if I try to run the Olama command olama ps in order to check if there is any LLM models then here we see that it's empty so there is no model running so let's deploy the first model so I run the same command but here with olama run and then I specify an LLM model like 53.5 for example so here olama will detect that model is not available inside the docker container so it will go to pull or to download that model it's two gigabytes of uh, disk storage it will download then all the required files and once the model is ready it will present me here a chat window where I can interact with that model so I can ask the model who are you for example and then here we should see the response coming from that LLM served by Olama great I will stop this one by using control D and then I'll make sure that the model is still running by running Olama PS and here we should see the model is still running and it will be running for four minutes but you can change that config from so now the client application is ready in order to consume that llm model so let's get first that uh, public ip of that chat application by running kube control get uh, the service name from olama where here we can find that public ip it's running on port number 80 so this means if i go here to my browser and then paste that uh, public IP I should get access to the Olama and here because I've enabled authentication so I should provide my those credentials by going to sign up providing the required information and then click create after that we get the news right here I go just to dismiss it and here we get the window where we can interact with the model so first thing we need to do here is specify which model we want to interact with because in Olama we can deploy multiple models at the same time so here I specify the deployed model that is 53.5 and then here I can send a message to that model let's ask it again who are you and here we should get the response from Olama if you have other models deployed then you can choose those other you should see them here and you can choose another model to try it and that was how you can install olama and open web ui into a kubernetes cluster for more content on aks azure and artificial intelligence please check out my youtube channel thank you